every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made the way for me. Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland. Welcome to Friday's edition of the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Father, we thank you and we praise you. Oh, my. Weeks, weeks of covenant study. And we are so blessed. We have been increased. Our awareness of our covenants of promise, especially the blood covenant of Jesus. We're especially aware of the importance of the covenants. of Israel and the covenants of the United States, beginning from its very beginning. And we thank you and we praise you for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of yad heh vav himself. Mm-hmm that name above every name that's named. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. The, uh, I want to finish what I started yesterday. The word of the Lord came to me. I thought of it again while I was praying. I just see it in my mind. I could just see George Washington. The, the capital was not in Washington, D.C. Yeah. It was in New York City. Yeah. And they walked yes, they did. down to the chapel. It's there today. It's what survived at 9-11. That's correct. Amen. That's right. The first act of Congress of the United States of America was to dedicate this nation to the Almighty God and to His Son, Jesus. His inauguration day. It's said that uh, he was overheard saying, you will be our God and we will be your people. Yes. Now that's the president of the United States that did that. Yes. And that set things in motion. So I heard the word of the Lord. I I was praying for our country. And I I heard it so strong, just commanding voice on the inside of me. There's times I'll just hear things, but there are times he calls my name. And this was one of those times, and it was kind of startling. He said, Kenneth, do you think that the forefathers of this nation had any idea what this nation would look like a hundred years from then. Mm -hmm. I said, no, there's no way. It was the first time it had ever been done. He said, all of this trouble, talking about politically, all of this trouble and turmoil that you're seeing are the birth pains to the rebirth of this nation. Yes. It's happening right now. He said, and he called me again. He said, Kenneth, once this nation is reborn, You have no idea what it'll look like Mm. when I get through with it. And I thought, no idea? He said, no, no more than those guys did. You have no idea because you've never seen it reborn. Mm. Now, I saw it 
reborn after World War II because I was there. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw it when, man, I, our, our soldiers were training with wooden rifles. And, and there it was, four years later, we had more equipment than we knew how to use. We had more oil than we knew how to use. I, I mean, here we were, and all of a sudden, we're, the, we're be, become the most prosperous nation on the face of the earth. And we were not before that war. That's right. That's true. Now, I, I, I saw, because I was, I was just a little, little boy, but Greg, for seven years before World War II, it didn't rain in Oklahoma and in the Panhandle of Texas. The Dust Bowl. That's right. Now, man, I've been in those sandstorms. That's a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it started raining. And a war started, and the nation was reborn. Mm. Now think about what is going to happen this time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's get down to business. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> you started us off with a Psalm of David, Psalm 103. Yes, sir. It's on your partner letter, covenant partner. Yes, sir. <laughs> my covenant partner. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not all His benefits. What benefits? Covenant benefits. Yes. That's what we've been talking about for weeks. I'm, I'm now in Christ Jesus. I'm free from the curse of the law. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He gave me, uh, we studied that covenant meal where He established this covenant with His disciples and all that would believe based on their words, that's you and I. So we have the meal that heals. Glory to God. Anytime you want it, yes. put yourself in remembrance of what he did. Drink that in, eat that, believe that, confess that, speak that. So we, we're walking in this covenant. Those are some of the benefits, just some of the benefits. Who forgiveth all thy uh, iniquities, who healeth all those diseases. Now we talked about that the last two weeks, that they're the same thing. He can heal you and forgive you. One's not harder than the other one. Many times for the world, the healing is the wake up call for their salvation. I thought about it just then again. Uh, and I think about it, think about it like this. He's looking you, Jesus is standing there with a smile on his face. And he says, I am the Lord that's healed you. Past tense. Well, I still have pain in my body. No, he's already healed you. It's already done. The covenant. See, this is the reason you have to be so covenant minded about this. Mm -hmm. I heard Creflo Dollar say, Creflo's got a way of putting things, yes, you know. Sir. I heard him say this. He said, God healed you 20, uh, uh, 2000 years ago, and grace receives it and says it's mine That's now. That's absolutely correct. Isn't that, That's absolutely, isn't that absolutely, the absolutely truth. perfect? Absolutely the truth, and that's exactly why I have that arrow. That arrow. I'm going to get me one of those. <laughs> well, I just, I just drew it with a pen one day. It. I know it. I just had that. <laughs> I I'm, ought to print me up a page with a printed one in there, but I drew that for me so that I could see that. That everything, my God, oh, glory to God, everything that was promised to me mm. here is now mine. Because I live yes, on this sir. side of that page right there. Over here, the curse threefold death, spiritual death, or being separated from That's God. Right. Sickness and poverty. That's right. Over here, redeemed from the curse. Yes, sir. Born again, connected to God, healed. 
Yes. And prosperous. Right. More than enough. Because of a king that hung on a tree between yes, blessing and cursing. Yes, sir. Which we talked about weeks ago. A king that hung on a tree, a king hung on a tree, and because of that, because I'm in him and he's in me, I have access through that blood covenant. Therefore, I have access to use that name. Hey, I have glory to God. I have <laughs> access to use that name. When I use that name, Satan's defeated. He knows the beating he took. Yes, sir. He can do nothing unless he can get me to say something. There's healing going on all over this, uh, all, all over this audience right yes, now. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. All you got to do is receive it. Yes. Because it's already yours. Every time you say that, I think of that little song that Keith Moore wrote. Oh, the glory is here. <sighs> right there in healing school, working with Brother Hagen all those years. And the woman that had was on her way to the Mayo Clinic through an operation and a, 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 a just a a, a slight mistake, and they had slit her esophagus. Mm. She had had 11 operations. She had 11 scars and still didn't get it fixed. She was on her way to Mayo to see what they could do. And she stopped by in Tulsa where the physician was practicing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. And Brother Hagen was talking about how simple it is. Just he and he, of course, he went to the very simple parts of the, the healing as only he could do. And he said, just take it, just receive it. And that Greek word in Mark eleven twenty four, 24, whatsoever mm -hmm. thing you desire when you say, believe you receive it. it. It's take. And glory, I'm telling you, glory God on that. And that's the way she preaches it yet. Take it. Take it. It's not yours till you take it. She had a feeding tube up her nose and she was just sitting there and she just reached, and Brother Hagin said, the glory's here. Mm -hmm. So she just reached up like this, pulled that thing out of her nose. My, my, my. Went, uh, she hadn't eaten in two months, solid food. Went across the road to the Monterey house at noon and ate, ate two, two mes Mexi Mexican, I, I, ate two <laughs> Mexican dinners. I, I've been to that. Uh, it's like me holding this out to you. Here, take this, take this. It's take not it. mine until Amen. I do that. Amen. Amen. And it's been sitting there available to you the entire time. It's been yeah. sitting right there yeah. for you to take it. And but until you and do so that. And so Keith saw that. He saw her when she did that. And then she came back and gave her testimony and he wrote that song, The Glory is Here. Beautiful song. I'm reminded of something. Can I show you something in John chapter Please six? Um, I was reminded of we talked about healing being the children's bread, the Syrophoenician woman, eating, you know, just some crumbs even would work. Jesus says in John chapter six, verse thirty-two. Then Jesus said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. That's mm. you just reach up, take that. <clears throat> Just reach up, take that. For the bread of God is he that cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then they said unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Give it to us. That's what they're saying right there. And Jesus said unto them, verse 35. I am. There it is. I Woo. am. <laughs> the, the healing power of God, the moment he said that, was available to every last one of them right then. Yes, sir. The word I am, boy, he said it. I am. When God the bread makes covenant, when you make covenant with God, He makes covenant with you. When you enter into the covenant, He is bound at that point to be your provider. Let's go back to Revelation again. Yeah, we talked about that. This is when He He said it again. Chapter 3. Yes, sir. 19th verse, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, or I correct them. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, look, 
I stand at the door and knock. Mm. If any man, if any person hears my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and sat down with my father in his throne. If you got an ear to hear it, it's yours. Mm-mm-mm. If there ever was a covenant statement in the Bible, he made it right there. That's absolutely true. So describe that covenant of salt. Because he said, he said, I'll come in and eat with you. Yes, sir. Now, this is an Eastern book. It, 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 covenant is in every line of it. It's, he said, I, I'll come in and eat with you. That's right. One of the oldest covenants. Have you ever heard somebody, oh, that guy's not worth his salt? Yeah, yeah. That's from that covenant. And the word salary in Latin is part of that. You, they would pay the soldiers in Rome, particularly, Salt. It's part of their payment that they carried with them in a pouch. And that word is sal. Sal, salary. So um, this is where we get those words, not worth the salt. It means he's not worth the salary. He's not worth the, the salt bag. So you have a salt bag. I have a salt bag that we carry. In the salt covenant, I take part of my salt out of my bag and I place it, it in yours. In and you place it in mine. We take that bag. You can never separate it. I can't tell what grains of salt were yours. That's right. Which ones were mine? They've become one. So, if we sit down to the table, yeah. and you're uh, my guest, mm -hmm. and this represents the higher mm -hmm. blessing, the lower. Yes. I've invited you into my house, yes, sir. And so, I either take salt or like Jesus did with Judas. Exactly right. I take those people back there, then ate with their hands. Yes, sir. And I take of Usually my your right hand. You would do yeah. I take of mine and I offer it to you. That's right. By doing so, you have eaten out of my plate and we are one. That's right. That's exactly right. That's exactly what they, what uh, um, Judas did. But now that plate, that bitter herbs time, that was, he's getting ready to fill this thing. That's when he's getting, he, he partnered into his bitterness. He partnered into his suffering with that. That wasn't a good thing to do, but that's what he did. It just hit me again. Paul in the book of Philippians to his partners. Mm. You're partakers of my grace. And this is what hit me so hard years and years ago about my partnership with Oral Roberts. And I told Gloria, I said, Gloria, I, I, I had to preach this to her because she wasn't there. I said, we've become partners with Oral for $10 a month. She said, where are we ever going to get $10 a month? And I preached it to her and I said, Gloria, look at this. I, I, we can have Oral Roberts anointing for $10 a month. Mm -hmm. because we've become partners. That's it right there. That's it. Oh, See, when, when a person enters into partnership with a ministry, you're part of that ministry. Yes, sir. You're part of it. Yes, and sir. every reward that happens. I mean, this was, da David instituted this himself. That yes, those sir. that stayed behind and watched the stuff, that was equal spoil with those that went into battle. If I put salt on a steak, can I get it out? No. On a, I got a raw steak sitting right there, ready to go on the grill, and I put it on there. Oh, we well, shouldn't have put that salt on there. Can I get it out? No. no you can scrape. It. It's in <laughs> you there. You can't get it. It's there. It's in it. It's already in it. And so now, you know, Michelle will always season all the stuff before I put it on the grill. I can't go season it again. It'll be too much because it's already it, it's worked its way in there. This covenant of Jesus has come in me. Who can take it out? Who can remove me from him? If you will take communion correctly, and as I've said before, I take communion a lot. Yes, sir. When I'm, when I'm, where I can, I take it every day. And I've come to the place where I realize 
this cup of his blood. Once I drink this, his blood and my blood have become one. Oh my, there's your blood covering. I just see it. I, I just, he said, when he handed them that wine, he said, this is my blood. Yeah. You drink it. You drink all of it. Yeah. And I, I just, I just see it. I, once his blood and my blood have mingled, it's impossible to give me a blood disease. You and, can't. And that bread, that bread that was broken, it's pierced and striped. We looked at it. Once that's gone into me, there's the stripes in me yeah. and the piercings in me. I, there's, how in the world are you saved? How can you stay sick? Because we have this covenant, right? Once you get an understanding of it, now I'm all for laying on hands and, and, and we're commanded to do that. But yesterday, I was healed right here yesterday. Before we went on the program, Dr. David Weir laid hands on me in the back. Oh, you said that. He yeah. saw it. He saw it happen. <clears throat> my back, I got up off the couch back there and my back just went mm, seized. Because we're going to talk about covenant healing. And I thought, oh, dear Jesus. I was stretching. I was doing everything I could. I came set right here. You opened up in the prayer. My back went pop. <laughs> no man laid hands on me. It's because I accessed my covenant. That's right. That it belongs to me. And people will be healed right now all around the world. It's happening all day. It has been yesterday and today, I know. For Heal sure. all around. If you're not a partner, and you didn't tell me to say this, but I feel impressed too. If you're not a partner, I, people, I wish I could sit where you are right now. You do, because you're a partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're receiving of it right now. If you're not a partner with Ken the Couple of Ministries, you need to be. Praise God. You need to be, because I know I'm here. The man prays for you. He's in covenant with you. He blesses you. He salts you yes. every single day. And you need to be part of it. You didn't tell me to do that. I just felt impressed. Mm -hmm. I missed it. I missed it. But you need to be a partner. I, uh, of course, now you don't have, you don't have to do this. I have both. I have the, the little cups. You know, you know the little cups that have the, the wafer right in yeah. the, the top. Yeah. Now, I think people use those pretty universally. Did you know that um, the uh, uh, Welch's grape juice people designed those for us? Really? When we had the worldwide communion service, we had to have cups. We had to have it, and we had to, and they designed that little guy for, so we could just pass them out. We had, I don't remember now, some like, I don't know, eight or 9,000 people in the convention center, and we had to have a lot of communion cups, and they designed that for us. Well, it'd take an hour to hand out oh, yeah. trays the old way. Praise God. And it's happened again. We're out of time. We're out of time. <laughs> Lord, we give you the praise. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Just give him a praise Amen. and a worship. Come Thank on, Jeremy, you. son. Help us out here, boy. Thank you, Papa. You know, when we live on the blessing side of life, there's redemption, there's salvation, there's healing, there's divine health, there's prosperity, there's provision. And when you activate your covenant with God, He is bound at that point to become your provider, to become your healer. And because of that, you can live confidently and securely in your covenant benefits. And this, this is a powerful takeaway for Brother Copeland and Professor Greg Stevens' five-week study on your covenant with God. It's time to get out of the house and experience the power of Together, August 3rd through the 8th for our 40th Southwest Believers Convention. There's nowhere else where you can gather in faith and experience victory like you can at the Southwest Believers Convention. Will you rise up and be the one? Get your teenagers into our power-packed 1440 meetings. Learn the godly traits that will make you famous in Super Kids. And this year, for the first time ever, we welcome Pastor Bill Johnson to the stage. Prepare your spirit for an encounter with God like you've never had before during these six faith-building days with seven powerful speakers, 26 high-impact sessions that you won't want to miss. Because we take our health and safety very seriously, we'll be social distancing. All of our adult spaces, 1440 and Super Kids, will be maintained according to the CDC guidelines. Join us in Fort Worth, Texas for our 40th Southwest Believers Convention, August 3rd through the 8th. Together in faith, 
Together is the most powerful place to be. Today is offering day on the broadcast. Let me read to you again from the book of Galatians chapter 6. Beginning in verse 6, the word says, Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. You've been taught the word today. You've been taught the word all this week. Many of you have been watching this broadcast, not just today, not just this week, but for years and years and years. And you know that the word of God is alive and it's powerful. And as you have fed on it and it's got down into your heart, it's beginning to change your life and the way you live life. And one of the things that you and I need to do when we're taught the word is then respond to that by going before the Lord and saying, okay, what do I do with this? How do I make sure that this word that has changed me doesn't stop with me, but it gets into the life of somebody else, somewhere else in the world. And when the Lord leads you in that, He leads you to stand in faith. He leads you to sow into that. You become a partner with this ministry and that's powerful. That is powerful because partners, when you pray for this ministry, when you sow into this ministry, because of that, you're sending this broadcast to stations, to networks all over the world. You're sharing them in multiple languages so that people everywhere can hear the good news of the gospel so that they can hear the same good thing that you've heard. They can hear about their covenant with God and and learn how to grow in their walk of faith. So partners, we thank God for you because your sowing, your faith is enabling us to every month send the Kenneth Copeland Ministry magazine to hundreds of thousands of partners and friends all over the world free of charge. That's the power of partnership. You, through your faith and through your giving, are making sure that people all over the world are hearing the Word of God. And when the Word of God goes to work in their life, you know what happens because that's the same thing that's happened to you. Father, we thank you so much today for the giving of the people. We receive it into this ministry. We hold it before you, Lord Jesus, and we say, do whatever's in your heart with it. As you lead, as you direct, that's where we'll, that's what we'll do with it. We'll sow where you say so and, and, and make sure that this enables the word to get out all over the world. We're just grateful, Father. We thank you for our partners. We call them blessed today and increased in Jesus' name. Amen. Now listen, those of you who are not yet a partner with this ministry, go before the Lord. Find out if you've got a part to play. And when you partner with this ministry, you can live confidently knowing that somebody somewhere is praying in faith for you every single day of your life. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Until then, remember that God loves you and we love you. And Jesus is Lord. Today's Believer's Voice of Victory was brought to you by the faithful partners and friends of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Go to kcm.org.uk to receive your free digital download of today's broadcast. Continue to grow in your faith in God and believe Him for new visions, His manifested power, and great change in your life.